Okay guys, so this time I'm gonna make a video of uh, me updating the firmware on this uh, radio. And uh, as uh, most of you have heard, there has been some uh, people having problems with the range and uh, failsafes, random failsafes on this radio. So it's always a good idea to update to the latest firmware. So I'm going to show you how to do that on uh, the horse. And before you do that, make sure your horse is charged. That it's fully charged. That's always a good idea. You don't want it to shut down on you when you're doing the update. That's uh, that's not good. So Okay, so uh, the horse is charged. What you do is go to the uh, first guy uh, homepage, like I said, and uh, you click the uh, download button. Go to the uh, beta firmware for the Horus, and uh, this is the latest version. It's 1.2.20, and that was released on the 28th of uh, uh, October 2016, and you can see all the uh, different types of uh, changes they made so I just download this one and download it where you can uh, find it later and once that's uh, down extract all the files extract them uh, somewhere where you will uh, find them again so I have made my own folder system here for the Horus. Extract. Two folders. There's a bin folder and a DFU folder. Updating the firmware the way that I'm showing you now, uh, you need, will need the, uh, the bin folder. So in this folder you'll find uh, four files. You will find the mode one EU version and the mode one FCC version. Mode two EU version and the mode two FCC version. I have the mode two FCC version. So I will take uh, this file. I will uh, copy it and go to my uh, micro SD card that I've inserted to my computer. On this uh, SD card you need to have two folders at least and uh, the one of them is called firmware the other one is logs. If you uh, and you just click on the firmware and you uh, copy your bin file here right here in the firmware folder. Once that's done just remove the uh, micro SD card uh, insert it to your horse. So I just uh, inserted the SD card in the uh, radio on the back and now I'm gonna hold the enter button while turning it on. We can have a look at the screen. So first it's erasing the old version and don't worry all your models and uh, sound files and everything will be uh, in the radio uh, they will not be deleted so erasing down now it's flashing the new uh, firmware flash finish successful so what you do now is uh, you reboot the radio one more time to um, update your internal transmitter as well so uh, the one that's actually the uh, internal module the one uh, the one piece that actually is sending the signals to your receivers so we switch off and we switch on again just gonna hold it for a couple seconds here we go so now it's uh, updating the internal X
it really is a simple matter but uh, if you've never done it before it can be a little bit daunting like I said make sure you have uh, the transmitter charged and all you need then is a uh, micro SD card and uh, access to a computer that's it very easy thank you guys if you like this video please subscribe and click the like button thank you bye